वंदे गुरुपद तंदम भक्त बिंद श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नित्यानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय कोटिजन सुमायुक्त बिंदा मनोहर वाशा कल्पतरु वैश्य कृपा सिंधु प्रवच पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुखं करोति वाचालं पंगुं लंघत गिरी यत्की पातमहंग बंदे परमानंदमाधव वृंदा वै तुलसी देव वै पिया वै केशव सच स्ना भक्ति पदे देवी सत्यवत नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीपात्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदेय सदा पिभवग्न भविष्ठदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम वेतात्म पनतपालभवादिपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुनाबिंद यत्दपल्लवनखचंदमनीटाए विस्फुरीजीत गोपवधुषुदर्श पूर्णागर सागर सारमूर्ति साराधिकामयी कदा कृपा श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निंद श्रीआदगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री आदित गाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितरो कमलाताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधाल वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमामि गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरबंदी तो दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनी भावान्ूपेन सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषि तो वाम भाग नारायण प्रियमनंग मदापहार वरानसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ बागीशजुस्व बदने लक्ष्मीजस् चक्षसी यस्ति हृदय संवीत सिंह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जयो नाम धेय मुनिबिंदो गेयो 
जनोरंजनायो परमाक्षराकृते त्वम अनादरात उपी मनाक उदितम उदितम निखिलो ग्रोताप पटलिम फिलुम पसी जयो नाम धेयो मुनिबिंद गेयो जनरंजनायो परमाक्षराकृते त्वम अनादराद उपी मनाग उदरितम निखिलोग्रताप पटलिम बिलुम पसी गौरीय गोष्टीपति सिसिलाबक्ति सिद्धांतो गौरीय गोष्टीपति सिसिलाबक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रोपाद परमेश्वर के दूर टोल्ड जेट एट दैट टाइम वी आर नॉट गेटिंग दैट रियलाइजेशन दिस रियलाइजेशन इज नॉट कमिंग दैट भगवान and Gurudev is not different from each other. When up till that point, it is not coming into our realization that uh, what mantra we have got from this from our Gurudev, that Gurudev and this mantra is not different from each other, and this mantra that is actually not different from Bhagwan. I am trying to speak that that Guru. Is uh, Swayam Bhagwan? He is coming in the form of Bhagwan. Is coming in the form of Guru Dev. Prabhupada speaking. When it is not coming in our realization that Bhagwan and Guru Dev are not different from each other, they are not at all different. Up till that point, how we can do bhajan? It is not possible to do bhajan. At that point, to do bhajan is not at all possible. When you have don't have any guru nishta, naam nishta, it is not possible to have naam nishta. And you, when you have guru nishta, then slowly steadily you will have uh, naam nishta in your bhajan. That is the last. And uh, Hari Guru Vaishnav, how actually these three, they are at one platform at the same time. How they are in one platform? Hari Guru Vaishnav are at the at only one place. It is not coming in our realization. Gurudev, Gurudev, the Atma. When you are not there, then Krishna. To get Krishna is not possible. Jeev actually is understanding it in a different way, opposite way. When Guru, when we are don't have a Bhagavad Darshan, and then Guru Darshan is not possible. When Guru Darshan is there, after that, Bhagavad Darshan is possible slowly, steadily. When we are doing Nam, by having Nam Nishta, we will be having Bhagavad Darshan. Jeev, Guru is not Jeev. Guru Dev is Sakshat Ishwar. That's why Guru Dev is called Devata in the Shastras. Guru, Guru is my Atma, is my part, and it is a uh, part of Priti. Those who are actually is is uh, just realizing Guru Dev as Ishwar and is doing his seva. That is called Guru Devata Atma. That Guru Devata Atma, that Guru, this Guru Devata Atma, that is the topmost, that per topmost Paramahansa Guru Dev, this Guru Devata Atma, that Guru Bhakti, those who are, those who are showing, that is means that those who are actually showing us Guru Bhakti. That definitely they will get the kripa of Guru Dev. Other others will not get. Maybe some there there will be kripa there, but that is partial. Krishna Prashto Guru Guru Pad Padma. Krishna Prashto Sri Guru Dev and Guru Nishta. They are actually all the time happy with those uh, Guru Nishta devotees. They are all the time happy with these. Uh, Guru Nishta devotees, all the time they are happy with them, and that's why the, the actual pran of Krishna, that is the Guru of Guru Dev is Krishna. They they are all the time uh, happy with those Guru Dev Atma devotees because just with the happiness of Guru Dev, Bhagwan is automatically happy. It is already connected with that. The happiness of Guru Dev. Bhagavad Prasannata is connected with that, and Guru Dev, 
Godhead Paramahans Gurudev. Just be sure that he is actually Namnishth Guru, Paramahans Gurudev. The topmost of all the Gurudevs, he is the top, topmost powerful Gurudev, who is all the glorification of that Gurudev, that is Nam Bhajan Guru. That means those who is actually already established in Nam Bhajan, those who has taken the shelter of Nam, those who are actually haven't taken the shelter of Nam, they can't do the role of Gurudev. You can understand this. Those who are who have taken the shelter of Nam and those who are not doing Nam Bhajan, okay, they are doing Bhajan, but they haven't taken shelter of Nam. Then, when you have not taken shelter of Nam up till that point, be sure that he is not at all a, a glorified Guru. He is not a permanent Guru. Because all those Paramahans Guru, in our, uh, according to us, according to the Shastras, every Gurudev, he is Nam Nishtu Guru. He has the glorification of Nam. He is just speaking the glorification of Nam in this material world. All over the world, I have already told that all actually are are expressions of Nam of Bhagwan. Shila Sachidanand Bhakti No Thakur has uh, told us a very important point. I have already told this point previously or yesterday also that what you are actually speaking about Nam Abrad in this what you are speaking that. That those who don't have Shraddha in Naam, they are those who are Ashraddhavan people. Those who are Ashraddhavan, those people are, you are actually giving Upadesha of Harinam, it is strictly prohibited to give them. To give, it is strictly prohibited to give them uh, Harinam. But those who have Shraddha on Harinam, then to give him Upadesh, what is the use? He already has Shraddha. So that's why I just uh, repeated this thing, that when Mahaprabhu just giving instruction that you Haridas and Nityanand, you go there, like this uh, instruction Mahaprabhu has given for preaching, each and every house, you go there and give the instructions of Harinam, how to do that. So, it means that in every people, uh, there is Shraddha for Harinam. Was there actually there in uh, every people? If the Shraddha was there, then why they, they know the glorification already? Then there is confusion coming in that. And Mahaprabhu actually, in when going to South India, where he has just delivered Kushti Vipra, that Kushti Vipra, Leprosy Vipra, what instruction Mahaprabhu has given to him, that this all, or by all these things, there is some confusion coming must be confusion there. So, what is the actual point about this? It means that that those who don't have Shraddha, that those who don't have Shraddha or Naam, for those only, those who haven't heard about Naam, to them only we have to give, give instructions about Hari Naam, glorification. So you just need to give instruction that is to, it means that at least minimum to minimum in their life that they don't have any heinous uh, bhav towards Guru Dev, Guru Vaishnav. At least for those who don't have heinous bhav towards uh, Guru Dev, maybe they don't know the glorification of Harinam, but still they don't have that fighting mood against Guru Vaishnav. For them you just need to give instruction of Harinam. At least for those you are just uh, giving, uh, still he is uh, not at all listening. Okay, still not listening, still again you get, need to give instruction, but still those who are just using foul language just want to fight with Guru Vaishnava. For them, it is, for those Ashraddhavan people, it is not to give instruction. It doesn't mean that, uh, that uh, to, 
nobody has Shraddha, so you don't no need to give instruction to them. So why Mahaprabhu actually used for going to Nam Sankirtan and why go Madhav Goswami Maharaj are going for Nam Sankirtan in the Nagar? Why it is like that? What is the reason behind this? What is the reason? There is one special case. There is one special case. You can't argue on this point. You can just take uh, this point, special case on this. Especially you, this uh, point is a special case like Jagai Madhai. And then you will just uh, pick up this point that Jagai Madhai actually are uh, so much sinful. And they have just uh, want to kill Nityanand Prabhu and Haridas Thakur. Okay. The first point here is that they haven't done any Vaishnava Prad previously. Have They have done sinful activities a lot previously. And secondly, Nityanand Prabhu has this resolution that definitely I will deliver these. So when Nityanand Balram, he is uh, non-different from Bhagwan, he is Gurudev, he is Akar Gurudev. If he has just taken this uh, thing that definitely I will deliver, then what is the big thing about this? So this Jagai Madhai, the Madhai, the Jagai just hit the stone on uh, the head of Nityanand and uh, uh, that blood coming out of his head of Nityanand Prabhu. Maybe that blood is not there in the body of Bhagwan, but still it is a kind of drama leela. But this Nityanand Prabhu, by the sankalp of Nityanand Prabhu, by the sankalp of Nityanand Prabhu, that the Jagai Madhai just got delivered. Just not, the, they just got delivered, but they, Jagai Madhai, just continuously doing Harinam for the rest of their life, but not like this. Mahaprabhu has just taken Jagai Madhai all together and done Harinam Sankirtan. You can't even imagine that. So this is a special case. This is a special case. So, so those they just want to hit Nityanand Prabhu Haridas, but still Nityanand Prabhu has delivered them. But for other uh, whole world it is not like this. So for those who are just maybe two times, three times you need to speak to that Ashraddha one Vyakti. But if he is not uh, doing any fighting mode, and if he is having that uh, heinous bhav inside him towards uh, Dham, Nam, devotees, then you don't need to preach in front of him. So that it, it means that to those those who have heinous bhav inside their heart, who are very Ashraddha one Vyakti, they don't have Shraddha, a bit of Shraddha for Harinam. That is the actual work for me to just bring Shraddha into his heart. That is my actual role. Those who don't have Shraddha for Harinam, that's why we are going to preaching. Na? Why we are going for preaching? So that he can get Shraddha. So it means that the Shraddha, in order to get that Shraddha, Naam Sankirtan, Nagar Sankirtan, Harikatha Kirtan, Prasadam Kirtan, everything is for Shraddha. When Shraddha is there, already then uh, what to do? Because what do you mean by Shraddha? Shraddha means the preliminary Shraddha means preliminary Shraddha. What do you mean by that? That to have faith in Guru Vaishnava Bani. Okay, he is actually all actually Guru Vaishnava speaking right. So that Sudrida Vishwas, that topmost wish confidence. That is a very uh, topmost thing. That in preliminary stage of Shraddha, that is the preliminary stage of Shraddha, in that by just seeing Guru Vaishnav, we are just uh, uh, feeling good. Okay, he is a great Vaishnav. But when that Shraddha becomes permanent, then in that Shraddha, that is called Vastav Shraddha. That I have already seen. There is uh, some uh, Shraddha just uh, getting into his heart and then just got into the fallen condition. That Shraddha, it was just coming into his heart, but at that time, immediately he just fall down. This happened. So there is a, 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 regarding this, I will just speak one story regarding this. This is actually a fact, not a story. I am just, just speaking a fact in front of you. That lot of people have just uh, used to question in front of me. That Maharaj, in the mud, uh, when we are coming in the mud after, I have just stayed for a long time and why actually they are going back, what is the reason behind this? They have just come by their uh, luck, but what is the actual reason they are just going back? Srila Vaman Goswami Maharaj, he al they always used to question 
and maharaj ji used to give answer and under their we are also under their anugatya only under their guidance only the answer will be the same that only i will just uh, be giving that answer what maharaj ji told their answer was that those who have just come in this hari bhajan they have that komal shraddha very soft shraddha is there okay let's go just to sankirtan i will stay with math and i will take pam prasadam we will take lot of anand there and after that coming in this uh, math he has actually that soft shraddha when he has come to the math so when he was just seeing everything go in all the four directions what is happening his just brain got mad and everything this shraddha got destroyed and he just got go back there is not one example lot of examples are there it is uh, actually happening quite often and there is another example i will tell you i will just told you told you the siddhant now i'll be telling you one fact in mayapur there is hospital from where yogpi temple is having like two to three steps okay there actually one uh, devotee is uh, living shila sagar maharaj is devotee hospital mein jiska math hai he is uh, math on hospital road his name is nakul prabhu he has just taken land there very lot of time before like 25 years before and has just with a lot of effort he has just made one uh, house and has just taken one uh, shop there as well and i just one time uh, during the jagannath ji yatra yatra i was actually just uh, standing in front of his uh, uh, shop and he just paid dandwat to me and he is just paying dandwat and speaking that maharaj you are actually in vrindavan shri chaitanya kodiyam but you are actually speaking hari katha there and i will just send my boy to you and my child to you and i have already sent my child to you he will definitely come to and your your child hasn't i have haven't seen your child there actually he was there in preaching and then definitely he'll come to you after preaching in vrindavan you, you will definitely go after rath yatra you have why haven't you why have you uh, sent him to the preaching prayer party is this this he will be definitely thinking uh, something wrong in the preaching party so he will not come back because lot of uh, mahavishnus are there and normal people are also there so he will not understand the acharan of the normal people he will be thinking opposite i think so he will not uh, come back to me definitely so that is the actual thing he was went to the preaching party something seen wrong and after that he just come back to his house and he haven't come back to me why because he has komal shraddha so this komal shraddha actually this soft shraddha very uh, careful he should be i have already told this uh, in uh, everywhere that komal shraddha those komal shraddha one people uh, it, they should be very attentive very careful why because there is every possibility they can fall down but nobody actually is listening to me oh maharaj actually every devotee can stay or not stay okay Uh, they will will be giving in a different atmosphere no but those who have soft shraddha at least you need to make a different atmosphere for him why because they have don't have that much of power no they don't have that much of power they don't have shastriya shraddha they have very soft shraddha shastriya shraddha means when under the guidance of pure guru vishnu have full confidence on pure guru vishnu bani that in hari naam in hari katha have full confidence in that that is called shastri shraddha shastri shraddha means that full confidence in shastra and uh, pure guru vishnu in their pravachan of pure guru vishnu in hari naam hari katha kirtan everything but when we are not attaining that shastri shraddha inside our heart up till that point he need to be very careful otherwise he will never stay in the mud in future he will just get out from there shastri shraddha is very important shastri shraddha when we are having after that definitely what is the land in uh, below his feet it will just it will just go off that will just become permanent when we has shastri shraddha on naam sankirtan and naam sankirtan i have already told you that the glorification of naam is so much that naam 
just by hearing Harinam. With that Nam Abhas, uh, even Mukti we can get. That is so Mangalmay. That's why Sankirtan is uh, arranged. And in Sankirtan, Bhakti Vinod Thakur has told that when we are doing Sankirtan, in when we are doing Nagar Sankirtan, there should be a permanent Mahabhagwat so that other sadhus can go under his guidance. Otherwise, this bonded soul definitely taking the wish of these sadhus and they will be just doing material uh, association that is actually material sound they will be uh, giving and this material sound all those bonded jivas all buildings they are from the building they are watching they will be having some effect of that material sound so this material effect will definitely be destructible. Why? Because this is material sound. I have already told that previously. That a Prakrit Shabda Brahm and Prakrit material sound, they are not different. They are totally different to each other. And I have already told that that uh, the snake has just uh, taken his mouth in the milk. Definitely, when you will drink that milk, you will definitely die. There is not a point that uh, Maharaj, I have taken this milk and I have just died. Why? Because those uh, Vishay people, those who are poisonous, who are venomous, they just want to take venomous. If they are just uh, uh, sitting in that Harikatha Kirtan, then definitely with that uh, uh, material world will not get delivered. That's why Jeev Goswami Pad has uh, just uh, in this Vishweshnav Sabha has in the that is the last uh, patra of that Vishweshnav Sabha at that time. After that, Bhakti Thakur is there, a lot of uh, Prabhupada is there. The, uh, the last Raj Patra Vishweshnav, he just prohibited this thing, strictly prohibited this thing that Harikatha, for Harikatha Kirtan, there should not be any uh, uh, soft person. Okay, he is practicing, but just for the actual mangal of the whole material world, if he is speaking Harikatha, that soft person who has soft sraddha, then Jeev Goswami was speaking that in this sandarbha, that those who are actually having soft shraddha, those who don't have any kind of material calm inside their heart, definitely they should be given Vyasasana. Vyasasana should not be given to every person. That that it is not our family life. Okay, our grandfather has come. Okay, let's give him Vyasasana. <laughs> it's not like that. This is not family life. In family loves that he has just came from a long time and he is very aged. So this is not family life. That seniority must be given priority. It's not like that. And majority will be given priority. It's not like that. So this is the actual rule of this material world, not the rule of this Aprakrit Jagat, of Vakunt Jagat. Not it. Jeev Goswami has told Bhakta are of two types. That Kirtan, those who are doing Kirtan, they are of two types. There is one total, those who have full material Kamna Vasana inside their heart. He is a bonded Jeev. His behavior is not at all permanent and he is totally material. Bhakta are of two types. One Bhakta having full Kamna Vasna. There is one Bhakta is permanent. There is not at all, no material Kamna is there inside his heart. It means that from his uh, uh, mouth, uh, poison in the name of Harikatha Kirtan, from their mouth, no poison will come. No poison will come. There is no possibility. That is, it just came up up uh, to Madhya Madhikar. For him, it is possible. That glorification of Harinam he has understood and he is doing Harinam. And uh, Mahaprabhu speaking that he is one lakh Harinam is very important. Essential. He is doing one lakh Harinam. And he is taking the instruction of that. All Madhav Goswami are also speaking that one lakh Harinam is very important. That whether he is Pratishtish in Nam or not. That is the topmost uh, thing of uh, Sadhu. He don't have any ruchi in Harinam. And uh, Maharaj actually is, uh, is not at all Sadhu. There are a lot of examples regarding this. Uh, what I can speak, where the time is very less. In Vrindavan also in Sri Chaitanya Godimat, there is in Harisabha, in one Harisabha, there uh, one Harisabha was arranged and Srila Bhakti Dait Madhav Goswami, everyone is there, all our Guru Varg were there. 
and in there one sanyasi actually they just allowed to uh, they allowed him to speak one uh, hari katha there he is sanyasi actually he just speak hari katha there and that sanyasi actually he is speaking so nice hari katha he is very educated and that ho the whole sabha become very surprised that he is not is actually very young he is speaking so nice siddhant actually after that our guru var gopana var guru var i will not speak that his name he is speaking that uh, maharaj he actually he is actually prabhupad parshad there is another god brother uh, he is actually speaking that so nice he is hari katha is speaking this sanyasi he is speaking to his god brother and immediately his god brother speaking maharaj just uh, it's not that don't give certificate to early to him don't uh, don't pass remark to early for him aranya goswami maharaj speaking don't speak uh, don't pass remark just wait wait for some times just wait for some times then we will see afterwards what will happen and seriously this is the truth that whatever actually the uh, people who were listening to the sanyasi that he is actually a permanent sadhu but after that they understand that he has just got into fallen condition slowly steadily 2 to 3 years he just got into fallen condition it i just want to speak that bhakti vinod thakur and our guru works all the time speaking that those who are not pratishthit in naam bhajan they may be he can be a very good speaker still he should not go to preaching it is not his the, it is not his role to do preaching jeev go swami pad actually speaking that those bhakta inside their heart there is full material kaam and in the name of preaching he is going out and he is just making his full desire fulfill wish and he is not got any job in his house and he is feeling his failure in economical failure is there he is failure in educational field every everything he has seen he has got failure in everything in political field also he has got failure still he couldn't stand there everything got failure educational he went that is also got failure so he just has made one resolution that uh, conclusion come to the, that i will just take sanyas now and i will just take the support of guru vishnu what i haven't got in my life uh, in my life what i have haven't got i will get get that extreme point means that ashwarya kaam everything i will just uh, fulfill by the support of guru vishnu because hari naam is very famous and uh, i will just take their support and will do everything so this thing this kind of actually people this person come for preaching and they are just doing the work of guru for them it, they have no value it is they have no value that is the point but it is reverse the actual effect in the whole samaj that what reverse preaching is doing in this whole samaj for this whole world the mangal will not get there will be all a mangal in all four directions for this whole samaj whole material world so much a mangal will be there that you can't even imagine so that's why bhakti ka bhashan dena bahut easy to just speak about uh, bhakti in front of all it's very easy but with full realization and acharan it is very difficult jeev ko swami pad that's why speaking that those those bhaktas under those those bhaktas who have full material kaam inside their heart for them don't need, don't need to give vyasasan to them like gor kishor das baba ji maharaj speaking uh, previous day gor kishor das baba ji maharaj actually hari katha is not going there taka 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 money 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 are no brahmar gita was going on just run from a foolish yes total kaam inside his heart foolish number one how you can do brahma gita so this actually mahaprabhu actually speaking jeev uh, goswami pe speaking those who don't have any material kaam inside their heart no desire no material desire only they have uh, for bhagwan they just want to be of bhagwan 
एंड जस्ट फॉर भगवान दे दे आर स्पीकिंग हरी कथा जस्ट नीड टू गिव व्यासन टू दैम ओनली दैन दे ओनली हैव द एलिजिबिलिटी टू हरी कथा कीर्तन अदरवाइज दे अदर्स डोंट हैव सो इफ यू डोंट हैव तनादीप इन साइड एंड देन यू कान गो फॉर पेचिंग भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग वन पॉइंट दैट दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट ऑन हिज ओन ऑन हिज ओन ही इज नॉट गेटिंग प्रतिष्ठित इन नाम भजन ही इज नॉट एट ऑन प्रतिष्ठित इन नाम भजन ऑन हिज ओन इफ दैट पर्सन इज गोइंग फॉर प्रीचिंग then definitely in the bhakti dharma the other jeevas to just establish shraddha in other jeevas heart it is not at all possible bhakti mohan thakur speaking that still on his own he is not at all pratishtit in naam bhajan he is actually uh, he is not having any other shacharan he is not at all following uh, the vichar and instructions of mahaprabhu for them actually if he, that person will go for preaching then there will be amangal for whole this material world in all the four direction there will be amangal there will be no mangal at all that is uh, the answer in all the four direction there will be amangal in the shastra it is written jeev ko swami pad has also shown this uh, point डूइंग That is the big thing. So that's why in the shastra it is written. For those who are you, you are giving upadesh to others, but in your own life you are not at all following those upadesh in your own life. So you actually see how how heavy it is. You haven't. He hasn't followed that. Followed. For him, what will happen? It is written there for him. Just uh, bounce and come back to us. 
so like this it will from our from our shavan indriya it will just uh, bounce back from there it will not get inside our heart because it is without realization bhakti mohan thakur speaking so that's why bhakti mohan thakur speaking that there is one upadesh my advice is there one advice is that that whatever bhakti dharm you want to preach whatever according to bhakti you want to preach bhakti in front of these people definitely they will not at these people will get mangal and you are not at all pratishthit in your bhajan and so you can't give anything to them for both the parties whatever those who are going for the preaching and those who have just taken part in that preaching activity they will, nobody will get mangal at all because at least there should, if there is naam abhas then it will be good there is no naam abhas there is no naam abhas there is naam aparad only bhakti no thakur speaking that whatever bhakti whatever uh, you are speaking about bhakti you will not get any result like in the present situation that in whole preaching uh, field the just to do collection and just enjoy that's it and uh, just going to foreign country and just uh, collect money that's it and other disciple will speak you just speak hari katha like sant ko swami maharaj i already told one story 8 to 9 years back 8 to 10 years back in the hari katha you have just told that story that sant ko swami maharaj one per one sanyasi came to sant ko swami par with very attractive clothes and he is speaking actually maharaj actually want to stay in mat for two days maharaj okay you can stay no worries but you need to speak today nitanand tattva Hmm. about netanand baldev that you need to speak to dai nari katha and after prasadam after half an hour he is speaking to maharaj actually uh, i don't have the desire to stay uh, i can't stay here so i have some other work so he just went off so you can understand this now he just went off why because for him hari katha kirtan it is just like uh, uh, just like uh, poison for him so he can't stay in one place he will not he will not stay in one place no because he will just uh, be caught oh uh, preaching preaching like this in uh, order to stay uh, he can't even uh, uh, he can't even save himself what to speak of his disciple so he is actually preaching so actually disciple speaking you just speak hari katha it is uh, not possible to him to speak hari katha because uh, he is actually going for foreign country to preach what is there in foreign country for preaching what is he is just there is a, <laughs> there is a current of uh, women and wine everything is going on in their life so at least they will stay here and say, hear hari katha from a pure guru vishnu that's why bhagdev thakur actually giving us updesh that uh, that for you all people for those people for these people i just have one advice to god that this uh, bonded jeevas their mayapad jeevas just for their uh, for their just to get them out of their bondage first you on on your own on your own you do hari naam sankirtan you just glorify the hari naam you first understand the glorification of hari naam and whatever kirtan you are doing whether you are understanding that kirtan whether you are realizing that hari naam sankirtan or not first you see that that otherwise there will be a big problem whether you have first understood the glorification of hari naam on your own or not if you are if you haven't then you please realize that first whether you have that heart towards hari naam sankirtan or not when you have that tremendous attraction for hari naam sankirtan in your heart then at that time Uh, by the kripa of gurudev that will become overflowed when the kripa you are receiving from bhagwan become overflowing after that you can go to preaching otherwise before that you can't go it is because it is nonsense senseless to go in preaching like that no use useless upadesham karti eva upadesham karti eva by this actually it is written that hari katha kirtan will definitely destroy everything those who are who will do preaching like that hari naam like that 
so bhakti no thakur actually has just given us updesh that uh, you just get participated in this hari naam sankirtan first you realize that at least 1 lakh hari naam you have to do with a very peaceful mind so this hari naam with each one each and one hari naam you are just uh, meeting hari with that hari naam you are doing 1 lakh hari naam you have just shown this uh, vichar and that you are doing 1 lakh hari naam and your hari naam is actually contaminated hari naam it is no naam aparadh that their naam is one time uh, one place and you are at other place you are one lakh hari naam you are you don't have even one one uh, name you don't have any value it is all drama so you do one thing first you realize the glorification of hari naam and just uh, realize that first on your own and just don't preach the glorification of hari naam in front of people and when you are just uh, hearing the glorification of hari naam after that uh, in support along with that those who are actually come to hear the glorification definitely the sukriti will get uh, established in their heart and they will just be get they will just uh, hear uh, they will just get uh, established in uh, hearing the glorification of hari naam like in the jagai madhai they have just get that naam nishtha for hari naam they are speaking to mahaprabhu actually you, why how we can understand that you have uh, forgive us that you just give us seva so jagai jagai madhai you have seen the jagai madhai ghat madhai ghat they are all the time uh, with uh, naam sankirtan they used to just uh, wash that uh, maghai ghat that ghat and those people who just came to just uh, go to take bath in that ghat they just used to uh, ask forgiveness from them because he they used to speak that i have we have done a lot of abrad previously you just forgive us or so they just like they just used to cry like this so they actually bhakti no thakur speaking first you need to understand the glorification of hari naam first and you just also speak the hari naam and at the same time you just uh, realize the glorification of hari naam as well then you will just get supratishtit in the glorification of hari naam and what you, in whosoever you are uh, speaking the glorification of hari naam in front of them then definitely that sukriti will get established inside his heart and he will just get confidence onto that hari naam and that confidence will come inside his heart regarding hari naam and by this uh, he will get the kripa of hari naam gradually they will get that and uh, birth by birth birth after birth the baby in the previous birth maybe after birth definitely they will get they will get established in shuddh bhakti and that nishkapat shraddha will just get established inside their heart that is the actual updesh of bhakti nath thakur this actually bhakti nath thakur speaking so this actually naam aparad what is i am actually discussing here that naam aparad that is a preliminary preliminary discussion i am doing this is not a actual discussion in this just to find hari arthvad in hari naam that is strictly prohibited vichar uh, aur tark just uh, by arguing just to get pratishtit in hari naam just to do arthvad in hari naam that is a very dangerous aparadh and uh, to do other satkarm material satkarm just to compare the glorification of hari naam with that that is a very big aparadh that is not good at all and those who are shraddhavan people to give uh, hari naam to them that can be the upahas for hari naam so this night and times of kinds of naam aparadh if you will do then uh, if you will just uh, take this uh, naam aparadh 10 kinds of naam aparadh this 10 times of naam aparadh if you will be do bhajan of these 10 kinds of naam aparadh by doing that naam aparadh will definitely go off and with that if naam aparadh is gone means that all on earth are gone if naam aparadh gone means an earth is also gone and if an earth is gone 
when an earth is going slowly steadily when the anarth rashi is just getting destroyed slowly steadily then definitely you can uh, realize it on your own that something is happening some anand is coming inside her what is that just to get full confidence on harinam first full confidence on harinam those who have in this kalikal he has full confidence on harinam in this kalikal he is getting that confidence definitely he is getting the adhikar to do harinam those who have getting full confidence in harinam definitely they will be getting the adhikar in harinam to do harinam that's that adhikari people that adhikari person if you are just hearing harinam from his lotus mouth he is doing a hari kirtan from his mouth lotus mouth then that harinam only that uh, harinam what is gone from his mouth definitely it will come inside the heart, inside the heart of all the bonded jeevas and it will definitely destroy all the kind of anarth it will just be like a lightning just coming inside our heart and uh, destroying the darkness of our anarth it will just uh, destroy the maya vikar the darkness of maya whatever it is it will just get destroyed that whole darkness will just uh, uh, get destroyed and in all the four directions there will be a lightning full light and uh, those sadhus these mahapurush actually bhakti nath thakur speaking they are actually speaking har- uh doing harinam sankirtan without uh, aparad uh, and that definitely they will just establish establish in tranada vibhav and along with that harvastav hari katha and hari kirtan will definitely will uh, get established in your mouth when you will become aparad shunya without any aparad you will get free from aparad without getting free from aparad uh, it is not possible to do shuddha naam it is not at all possible why because when aparad is there an earth is there then then a mangal can be done definitely a mangal will be there uh, if you are just uh, hearing the mantra from the avashnav's mouth who is not a vaishnav what you have taken from a vaishnav definitely you will go to hell punasya vidina punaha pakka vaishnavo ka those who are actually hearing from a, pure vaishnav you have to take that mantra harinam from a pure vaishnav vaishnav guru ka grahan you just need to take shelter of a vaishnav guru harinam ka and uh, without uh, taking ashray of harinam there is no other way for jeevas because bhagwan has just told uh, bhagwan has just taken his own swarup and he can't come in front of us because this is kali kal before it was like that now naam actually has taken the form bhagwan has taken the form of naam and can come in front of us it is written there in bhagwat ji mahapurana as well that in this kali kal bhagwan naam has more glorification and apart from naam if doing anything apart from naam he will not get that result of of that activity महाप्रभु एक्चुअली द श्लोक ऑफ महाप्रभु द थर्ड श्लोक ऑफ महाप्रभु ऑफ शिक्षाष्टक एंड द सेकंड श्लोक आल्सो शिक्षाष्टक ओ भगवान एक्चुअली योर नाम ऑल द पावर इज देयर इन साइड योर नाम एंड इन्फिनिटी पावर इज देयर शक्ति इज देयर इन साइड योर नाम एंड ऑल द शक्ति इन्फिनिटी शक्ति इज देयर इन साइड योर नाम देयर इज एक्चुअली देर इज नो स्ट्रिक्ट रूल्स एट रेगुलेशन मे बी वाइल स्लीपिंग ईटिंग ड्रिंकिंग वॉकिंग एनी टाइम यू कैन डू हरी नाम यू कैन जस्ट स्पीक हरी नाम ऑल द टाइम there is no strict rules and regulations for that to speak harina so that's why just by just uh, remembering harina there is uh, no uh, different environment required bhagwan actually you have so much mercy infinity mercy you have 
टॉपमोस्ट मर्सी यू हैव ओ कृष्णा बट स्टिल आफ्टर दैट स्टिल आई एम माई लक इज सो बैड स्टिल आई एम नॉट गेटिंग एस्टेब्लिश इन दैट ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ नाम दैट्स वाई आई एम नॉट गेटिंग द रिजल्ट इन भागवत जी महापुराण ऑल्सो इट इज रिटर्न Here actually it is written in Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran in the first canto that Kali Nigra Prasang is there. This Adhyay, this means this canto. He Rajan. In this Kali Yuga, he it has it has infinity treasure in it. There is a Kali Yuga actually is a treasure of. Uh, Lie, and it is a treasure of faults. So much faults are there. Nithe means it is akar. It is the source of all bad things, all faults. But there is one uh, topmost kun there. Otherwise, other are all bad things. There, what is good thing? This is one good characteristic of Kali Yuga that only by Hari Kirtan you can get, just get delivered from this material world. You can get out of this material world. That Bhagwan Sri Krishna just by doing the Kirtan of Bhagwan Sri Krishna slowly steadily he will just get out of this material world. Of this there is no doubt about it. Just by Kirtan everything can be done. I have already told this point previously that in other yuga, the glorification of Hari Nam is not there. It is not like this. In every yuga, glorification of Hari Nam is there. Of this, there is no doubt about it. It is already written in the shastras. Just to leave Hari Nam, there is uh, no other ashray for all the bonded jivas. No, nothing is there without Hari Nam. Without Hari Nam, there is no other uh, pathway. That's why Sukhdev Goswami Pad is just speaking to Prakshit Maharaj that Hey Rajan, there is only one pathway, Hari Nam Anu Kirtanam. There is only one path to open. Those who are akuto, those who just want to go akuto by him, for those sadhus, that for those yogis, for those sadhus, Hari Nam is the topmost. Pantha. That is the topmost. And. Uh, Just want to get out of this material world. There is no other pathway open. No other pathway open for jivas. Lot of slokas are there in the Bhagavatam, and apart from this, there is no other pathway open. Bhakti Nur Thakur has just told, and in Hari Nam, there is a lot of all the infinity shakti. Bhagwan has just. Uh, uh, given that so much power is there in the hari nam then there is no time for uh, speaking hari nam you can speak at any time like there is one leela pras shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu has just uh, has just done one leela in kambira temple about the glorification of hari nam in order to just uh, glorify hari nam how actually gopal guru goswami he was a child at that time and he was actually staying in gambira temple 
He just want to come in Gambira temple mostly frequently to take darshan of Mahaprabhu and this Gopal Guru Goswami. He just uh, when he, Mahaprabhu just seen Mahaprabhu actually going to bathroom and he is just uh, this is what his tongue he just want to he just want to stop his tongue. Why Prabhuji actually why you are actually pulling your tongue? What actually I have to do? Actually my tongue actually she is not stopping. My tongue actually is speaking all the time. Harinam Sankirtan is doing what to do. That's why when I'm going to the bathroom, no. So when I'm going to bathroom, so that's why I want to stop it. So Gopal Guru, was, Gopal actually just started laughing. Actually for Harinam, actually there is no rules and regulation. You can do Nam all the time. There is no actually barrier for Nam. You can do all the time Harinam. Whether in the bathroom, still you are going to bathroom. Why you are actually doing, maybe it's good that you are speaking Nam like this. So when, after that, when he is speaking like this, Mahaprabhu actually, he is just taking Gopal Guru on his lap and just started speaking that today, from now onwards, you will be Gopal Guru. You are not Gopal. You are Gopal Guru Goswami. That from that day, his name was Gopal Guru Swami. There, in this incident, I will just speak one important point. What is that? That Abhiram Gopal. When Abhiram Gopal I just uh, gone to take darshan of Gopal and Gopal is just a child and he is speaking that uh, who is actually doing Dandwa definitely he will just leave his body. So then all the devotees actually become very frightened and afraid. It is already, I have just uh, heard it in, uh, I have just uh, heard it from a lot of devotees about this. So Abhiram Gopal actually when he just came there, Mahaprabhu actually speaking to devotees that okay, no worries. Actually, Gopal is actually is with me, so no worries. And when Abhiram Gopal is there, and uh, just uh, paid dandwa to Gopal Guru Goswami. At that time, Mahaprabhu, at that time Mahaprabhu is swam is actually just taking Gopal Guru in his own lap. He was there. Mahaprabhu was there with Gopal Guru, so Gopal Guru was there in the lap of Mahaprabhu and Gopal Guru Swami was just, when Abhiram Gopal just paid Dandva to him, then nothing happened. So it is just a fact. So to take Ashray means, to take Ashray means, Vastavik Ashray, to take Vastavik Ashray means, I, previously I was talking about uh, how in Harinam, how much power is there that infinity uh, sinful activities in a fraction of second it can go away. That's why in the Shastras there are a lot of rules and regulations and shlokas are there. Like uh, I have already told. Lot of shlokas are also there. Namnu Ashu Javati Shakti. Namnu Usti Hari Bhakti Vilas. In Hari Bhakti Vilas. In somewhere actually. Namnu Asti it is written. Namnu Asho. Namnu Asho it is written. That Nam has so much power. Namnu Asho. Namnu Asho. This sinful person, it is written, those sinful people, those who are full of sin, they have done, they can't even do that much sinful activities. Those sinful persons, just be careful, those sinful persons, they can't do that much sinful activities. Uh, uh, that Harinam has so much power just to destroy all the sinful activities. He can't do that much sinful activities. How much sinful activities he can do? Nam has so much power that he can't do that much of sin, sinful activities. So, that in Harinam, Harinam has so much power 
ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ हरी नाम जस्ट वॉन्ट टू put the glorification of harinam in front of haridas thakur because haridas thakur is got the upadhi of namacharya haridas thakur namacharya he has got the upadhi of hari namacharya he has got the title of namacharya mahaprabhu has given him and in that haridas thakur haridas thakur actually what uh, question mahaprabhu is asking to haridas thakur just by his own will so that in this whole material world there is some uh, uh, thing will be staying that haridas thakur speaking that mahaprabhu asking that uh, how muslim people will get delivered haridas thakur speaking okay prabhu actually you don't worry about this at least they are speaking haram because ha is they are not doing naam but still like naam they are doing no that naam avas they are doing ha means explanation Oh, ha ha there is exclamation in this it is ram is there ha ram so he definitely will get mangal he will get namabas and with namabas i have already told previously yesterday that sambandh gan is not get established in him and unknowingly he, uh, with that when sambandh gan is not there at all he is not getting established in that along with that he is doing he has just done like hari naam then there is no aparadh in that he is actually innocent with that that is called naam abhas i i have already told her pre yesterday but naam aparadh that is very dangerous the effect of naam aparadh is very dangerous by naam aparadh by naam aparadh lot of dangerous things lot of dangerous situations can be created nama prath slowly steadily it will just uh, take the jeevas into the fallen condition lot of opulence it will give us and it will just take it into a very serious and dangerous situation and that shuddha naam that is the only it is just coming from the lotus mouth of vishuddha hari guru vishnu and from other uh, mouth it is not at all possible to get shuddha naam shuddha naam cannot uh, anyone cannot speak okay at least naam aparadh is uh, gone at least it is good and the glorification of hari naam actually haridas thakur speaking like this and stavar jangam also what is actually all those hills mountains rivers everything which is actually still haridas thakur actually speaking that what actually you are speaking hari naam in a very loud voice that hari naam actually is going eat that uh, echo of hari naam is going each and every direction of this uh, will spread all over the four directions and this jangam will definitely get uh, delivered from that jangam to is there only already like lion tiger everyone everyone will will get delivered mahaprabhu has delivered them by hari naam so this is a glorification of hari naam so much power hari naam has davat kar tum na saknoti patakam patki but there is one point in that what is that that those who are namacharya namacharya means namachar on we are just thinking namachar has the stalker but what i want to speak that those who are namacharya who are already have taken the support of harinam and they are doing the work of acharya and they are just glorifying harinam and he is pratishtit in that adran that is namacharya those who are just like this nam acharya of nam for them if we doing some aparad onto the lotus feet if someone is doing that just be careful achanak if suddenly there is aparad onto the lotus feet of such a sadhu those who have those who are nam ashray sadhu they who have taken shelter of harinam and they are just uh, uh, doing their uh, bhajan life namasreya 
Namaste Bhakti. For them like this, I, we have just heard that if because of some aparad, by the support of Harinam, it can just get rectified. But if you have just a brat done onto the lotus feet of Nama Acharya, like it is written there, there that Nami Prabhu, if you have done a brat onto the lotus feet of Nam, Nami Prabhu, maybe Sakshat Nam, Nami Prabhu, like you have done a brat onto the lotus feet of Bhagwan, we have done a brat onto the lotus feet of Bhagwan. Okay. But now, what is the actual solution? Just to do a prada to lotus feet of Nami Prabhu. So just to take the support of Harinam at that point. Just if you have done a prada to lotus feet of Bhagwan, and if you will take the support of Harinam, then maybe today or tomorrow definitely your mangal will be done. Like, like Ashwatthama, has done a big aparad, very serious aparad. His aparad will not get rectified. What? That he has just killed the five child of the five Pandavas. He has killed them. Oh, they are all Vaishnav actually. They are just sleeping. And he has just uh, don't have any other card to just in this situation, in this condition, he will kill them. This is a webby charge. He is very not good at all. But still he has done that. But to, after doing that, all those Panch Pandav, they have just taken him. They were just started crying a lot. But still Bhagwan under the guidance of, they are actually under the guidance of Bhagwan. They are under the support of her. That's why, okay, lied. Okay, they are killed. Okay, no worries. But Bhagwan also, actually, Ashwatthama was not at all uh, uh, forgive, given no forgiveness to Ashwatthama. Just to do a prada onto lotus feet of these uh, devotees, uh, Bhagwan is not at all ready to forgive him. Krishna Bhagwan don't want to forgive him at all. Not like this, but Ashwatthama just uh, taking a ghost body, Pishachi. The body of Ashwatthama is just like a ghost. In this body, he has just become Pishachi. He's just become a ghost. How? He, from his body, so much bad smell is coming. And in in all four directions up till how much kilometers tak, up till how much kilometers that uh, where Ashwatthama is actually speaking or sitting you can't go so much bad smell is there so much bad smell is there you can't even go to that place where Ashwatthama is there he uh, he's just become a ghost he just got a ghostly body so much aparad he has done and Bhagwan has not given any forgiveness to him not at all he is ready to forgive him he has just started crying in front of him. a lot of things he has done but Ashwatthama uh, he is no don't have any death no Ashwatthama will not get death like he will leave his body so Ashwatthama is still alive today but this Ashwatthama today he hasn't got the grip of Bhagwan up till now but he is actually having that uh, still desire into his in his heart he has this full desire in his heart maybe today or tomorrow definitely Bhagwan will uh, uh, forgive me because he has taken the ashray of uh, uh, Dham and Nam because Dham and uh, is the Baldev Tat and Nam is uh, above everything and because of this this uh, Ashwatthama is there in Pishai Gaon, there in Nandagaon, you just need to go to the north direction. I have just gone to that place of like 15 to 16 years back, I went there to Pishai Gaon, Pishai village. Still now also Ashwatthama you can see there. In Pitra Ganga, there is one Pitra Ganga there. By the stick, that uh, by the stick Ganga just came out. So this uh, glorification of Naam is uh, tremendous. It is not a Vishi of any Pravachan that I am speaking. He actually speaking that just to take the shelter of Dham and Naam, definitely today or tomorrow Bhagwan will forgive me. Ashwatthama has done this. And if some person is actually thinking that uh, it is written there in Chaitanya Chiritamrit. In Chaitanya Chiritamrit it is written. What it is written? 
that if someone is thinking that that chandra and brat to parak brat this all kind of different anusthan if i will become very pure okay i will i will be doing this and i will doing different brat i will become pure so like this it is purity will not come like this purity will not come like this not at all possible why because this kind of uh, price chit this kind of practice is what you will be doing this purity procedure the procedure of purity this is not at all applicable this is not at all correct because pap sinful activity will go but that it will not get uh, destroyed from the root that's why sukhdev go swami sir parikshit maharaj ji ne question parikshit maharaj ji actually speaking to sukhdev ko swami what actually is speaking that bhyam jat papam janan upi atmano ahitam karoti bhuyo vivasaha prashittam atho katha he so rajan parikshit maharaj ne sawal parikshit maharaj has a question to his gurudev indriyo Sukhdev Goswami, that from the sense organs, by by our eyes, by by our ears, by our body, all the kind of aparad what we do with these material sense organs, that by from uh, whatever we are doing with material sense organs, all kind of pap. So these kind of sinful activities are doing with these material sense organs. this kind of material uh, sinful activity are doing with this material sense organ whether we will get some uh, rectification by these sinful activities how what is the actual rectification how we can get that all uh, hell going to hell everything will be definitely be done with these sinful activities so these uh, sinful activities are very dangerous but uh, a person actually still uh, he knows that it is sinful but still he is doing that he knows that it is not at all good to do this activity but still he is doing that prishtu suta bhyam jat papam jan janan upi atmano ahitam karoti bhuyo vivasha He has just become vivash and just going into sinful activities again. Again, he is doing sinful activities. What is the reason behind this? That's why there is one question. Actually, speaking of Arjun in front of Bhagwan Sri Krishna, Arjun is giving, putting one question in front of Krishna, Arjun, that how it is possible like this? this kind of uh, chanchalta instability inside our heart our heart is very unstable and in order to uh, control it is not possible it is not possible to control it and bhagwan actually speaking just go on practicing definitely one day it you will get that uh, thing to control this heart this mind material mind and bhagwan and uh, bhagwan told this and uh, this actually Arjun actually just put one question that in uh, any how it is not possible to control this material mind. How actually we can control this material mind? Just by doing it, I don't have any wish to do sinful activities. But knowingly, unknowingly, how we are just getting into that sinful activities, we don't know that. Who is he actually? That uh, forcefully he is actually just putting us in doing sinful activities. Who is that? Bhagwan actually speaking. See. Just be sure that he is the actual enemy. And here, Parikshit Maharaj actually speaking that knowingly also, like uh, Arjun has just put question. that i don't have any desire but still i am doing sinful activity parikshit maharaj actually speaking this question that 
that how to get the price chit out of this how to rectify this divartate avakrat kachit charati tatvana price chitam athu apartham manne kunja rasauchaba kabhi kabhi sometimes se nivrit hota hai he is getting out of the pap phir se kar raha hai and again he is doing some pap again kachit nivartate avakrat 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 mein amangal he is doing sinful activities and he is getting out of it and he is at, getting away from the uh, sinful activity and sometimes he is doing again that sinful activity so what is how what how to rest rectify if you are rectifying it what will be done parikshit mara speaking that you are doing price chit you are rectifying it what will be the result but you are doing rectification but still he is actually again doing that thing it's actually useless what is the use of rectifying it then if he is again and again doing sinful activities kunjo so then like elephant he is just taking a bath in the water and after that taking uh, hours of after hours after hours he is taking uh, uh, bath in water in the ocean in the pond he is taking uh, bath and then he is just getting on to the land again then he is just taking all the dust particle on his body and just uh, uh, like a talcum powder he is just spreading it all over his body so what is the actual use of that like a elephant the bath of elephant is there is no no practical value so why actually is doing bath <laughs> so that all the uh, we are doing bath so that all the dust particle can go away then why he is doing uh, dust particle uh, he is he is taking bath and just uh, again taking dust particle on his body so he is actually foolish so this price chit this expiration this is actually useless why we are doing expiration if we, there is no use of that doing expiration like this so sukhdev goswami pad actually giving answer that actually rajan you see there are a lot of kind of different tapasya chandran vrat by that all sinful activities actually you can get out of that but there are a lot of paddhati regarding this lot of after that he just told i will not be speaking this much because no time is there bhagwan ka naam bhagwan naam ka upar sabse bhagwan naam is the top most apart from that nothing is there name of bhagwan is top most definitely i'll be talking about tomorrow about this शांकेतम परिहास्यम स्तोभम हेरणमेव वा वैकुंठ नाम गहनो अशेष अग हरणम तो देखो जो यू जस्ट सी सो मच अरेंजमेंट इज देयर दैट वी कैन डू चंद्रा चंद्रा एंड व्हाट एंड दिस फॉर फास्ट वी विल डू व्हाट वी विल गेट आउट ऑफ दैट बिकॉज़ दे विल नॉट डिस्ट्रॉय आवर सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज फ्रॉम द रूट ओके पाप सिन सिन हैज जस्ट गॉन फॉर अ फॉर अ टाइम बीइंग but uh, you don't have this much capacity to just uh, put uh, uh, and and root that from the root so there are lot of uh, rules and regulation to remove sinful activities there are lot of rules and regulation about different different kind of vrats are there so what is the use of doing that when you haven't taken the shelter of hari you have not taken the shelter of lotus feet of hari then no practical uh, uh, samadhan will come nothing will come practically देर इज एक्चुअली वन सीक्रेट हिडन इन दिस तप आदि में दैट चंद्रायन एक्सेट्रा ऑल दिस व्रत यू कैन डू लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स यू कैन डू लाइक इंदिरा इन हु हैज जस्ट अश्विन यज्ञ हैज गिवन व्हेन ही हैज डन ब्रह्म हत्या सिंफुल एक्ट फ्रॉम ब्रह्म तप आप दैट इंदिरा हैज डन दैट ही हैज डन अश्विन यज्ञ टू रेक्टिफाई हिमसेल्फ 
He has just uh, done one aparad. He has just killed Vishwarup, that Brahman. What is the actual? Uh, why actually Vishwarup was killed? Why actually he is giving that uh, bhag of yagya to those asura demons? Why he is giving that part of yagya to those asuras? I will just be speaking a bit. Actually, it's nothing. When he has seen that uh, he, Indra just got mad, and after that he is just taking the sword off and just uh, cutting off his head from his body. At least he, he can. You can actually speak. At least that you have just called him as a guru. And you have just called him just to do the yagya. So he is actually uh, using the. He is actually doing the work of a guru, and he has just come in the yagya, uh, and he is also a brahman also. And why you are actually doing like this? At least you should have that which are inside your mind, where we, you just ask question regarding that. He is just taking the sword off and just killed him. Immediately he killed off, killed him, and after that he just got that brahmatya pap on him. And this kind of sinful activity, the brahmatya. There is no other way to rectify that. And after that, what happened? Lot of uh, things are there. Lot of uh, incidents are there. I don't have time to speak. Then, in all the four directions, this uh, he has just divided it into all the four directions. He has just given it to all the women, all those uh, water, all those trees. He has just divided that path in that. You can understand this point. And this Panchasach, he has just uh, divided that. So like this, actually he just got expiration from the Rishi Muni, and after that again he has done aparad. What? He has done the sinful activity of this. He also has killed Vritra, so that is also Brahmatya Pap. So where he will go? That's why the, he has done Ashwamedh Yagya, and he was just going. is counting and he was just running and running and running and he has just uh, went into manas sarovar and just taken the lotus feet of lakshmi ji and pre devi ji you just uh, want to stay here okay at that lotus flower inside that uh, in between he just stayed but that is also become uh, a problem what happened after that rishi mun actually speaking rajan we will just give you ashwamedh yagya you come here and if someone actually thinking that ashwamedh yagya sinful activity will go there are a lot of question actually coming regarding this that in satyug why he has so much vyasan then why actually in why actually in satyug all they have just taken why not taking the ashray of nam the actual answer regarding this is that in satyug the pa- pa- person is so much powerful that he has so much power for sadhan bhajan that just to take the support of harinam they don't have that much uh, thinking in their mind maybe in satyug there is lot of power in their body so but they i don't know the actual uh, what is the will of bhagwan in that they are actually doing tapasya all everything They, their intention was there to just do tapasya. That's it. They don't have that uh, glorification of nam, that prabhav of nam. That is just like a diamond. That sampati. They don't have uh, that much um, attention on that. So that's why in Chaitanya Chitamrit it is written. Yeah, that's why it is written in Chaitanya Chitamrit that millions of ashwamedh yagya, whatever you will do. It is this Krishna Nam. If actually one person is speaking, that uh, that fraudster will not be there. He to, he will definitely be getting the punishment of Yamraj. It is written in Shastras. So those millions of Ashwamedh Yagya, if he is just comparing, uh, he want to compare Krishna Nam with that, or if somebody is speaking, then definitely he is a fraudster. He is a number one fraudster. He will become uh, faulty. You can understand this point. Definitely, he will just go. He will get the punishment of Yamraj. Now you can think of this point. So this actually, Sukhdev was my part speaking that Rajan. You just see that whatever uh, uh, whatever efforts you are putting in. How much, how much effort you want to do this yagya donation, whatever you want to do, whatever Chandra and Bhat, whatever you are doing, but still Rajan, you will not get that much purity inside your heart. 
then there that purity you will get by hari naam sankirtan by krishna arpit naam what you will get by when you will that that when you will just serve a sadhu who is already at the lotus feet of krishna you will get that topmost purity why because he can't be staying without naam so that's why if you are serving him you will get the topmost purity inside you he has already uh, surrendered himself onto the lotus feet of krishna definitely he will definitely take the support of hari naam no he will not be living like without naam he has taken the support of hari naam so those who have taken the support of hari naam and his life is all they are surrendered onto the lotus feet of krishna just be krishna arpit prad means that apart from krishna he can't stay even for a fraction of second for his life and soul is is resting on the lotus feet of krishna for them if he is actually how he can stay without naam without naam he can't stay i will definitely be speaking tomorrow about this that that is called bhakti that just to speak the hari naam of bhagwan with the full separation mood we pralambh bhav no tatahi bhagwan rajan puye to adivi yatha krishna pran tat purusha so how much uh, expiration you will do rajan if you will do uh, there is no use to do that why because those who are actually uh, narayan parayan mukh those who are to are vimukh of bhagwan those who are away from bhagwan maybe they can do lot of uh, expiration but it is of no use maybe they can do lot of efforts to do expiration different expiration but no use Right? and if it is if you are doing some sinful activity for bhagwan then there will be no effect on you you can understand if i have done some sinful activity i have just just spoke speak spoken some lie just for bhagwan just for, for, for just for bhagwat seva there will be no effect of that in reverse definitely it will be called bhakti it will be called bhakti भगवान हैज टोल्ड हिमसेल्फ अलवर अलवर फ्रॉम साउथ इंडिया इन द रंगनाथम ऑल दीज अलवर पीपल दे आर एक्चुअली देर आदि अलवर तिरुपन अलवर ही वॉट ही वॉट ही हैज डन लॉट ऑफ सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज ही हैजन डन एनी सिंफुल एक्टिविटी बिफोर ही वी स्पीकिंग दैट आई विल जस्ट बिल्ड वन टेम्पल एक्चुअली इन द जंगल भगवान हैज जस्ट गिवन मी द ऑर्डर टू बिल्ड अ टेम्पल एंड आफ्टर दैट वॉट ही हैज टेकन द कंक्लूजन दैट फॉर भगवत सेवा इवन आई कैन डू एनी थिंग आई विल जस्ट किल दैम ऑल्सो और लॉट ऑफ पीपल वर किल्ड लॉट ऑफ पीपल वर किल्ड दैम सो Shila Madhav Goswami Maharaj always used to speak, and Tirth Goswami Maharaj also used to speak that when Madhav Goswami Maharaj was there in Assam, and what's his name actually, uh, that Chief Minister of Assam, Pardaroi, very like it's very date back, date back, lot lot of years back, Pardaroi was speaking that Gandhi ji. that is actually at the time of congress gandhi ji actually has sacrificed harinam for this country madhav goswami ne just started laughing <laughs> this is actually some uh, sacrifice thing harinam you can sacrifice foolish gandhi ji i can sacrifice harinam for my country foolish number one madhav goswami when i speaking actually you are just uh, thinking reverse he is speaking to the prime minister I can sacrifice. I can sacrifice my country for Harinam. Harinam cannot be sacrificed for your country. That is not the purpose. That is not the thing to sacrifice. But these uh, people are foolish. They can't do this kind of which are. So Krishna said, "Do not that onto the lotus feet of Krishna by body, speech, and mind. Everything they have just surrendered." Or you will get the answer jeevan hari pad arpan hai sada hari naam ratan kyunki 
बिकॉज एवरी टाइम इफ यू आर नॉट स्पीकिंग हरिनाम देन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो इट इज वन द सेम थिंग दैट दैट बाय तपस्या एक्सेट्रा वॉट एवर इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल दैट कैन बी पॉसिबल हु इज एक्चुअली सरेंडर नॉट टू लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्णा नाम those who have already just surrendered by body speech and mind to krishna that can't be possible like that in their life uh, in their life that all the four direction only naam is everything he has just got into deep into ocean of hari naam then that infinity power he will get and nobody will be having that much power without the support of hari naam they will not be having this much power why because i have already told this previously also that infinity power is there in the hari naam bhagwan has given and if that naam actually if we will not taking the support of guru vaishnav then how they will get that power it is actually interrelated like mathematics it is like mathematics if bhagwan has given all the power infinity power in the naam and all sadguru vaishnav also have so much infinity power they can just remove that in uh, pap is in full activities because they have guru vaishnav has taken the support of hari naam it is all the same aaj and today sangirtan parihasam this i will just speak sankirtan means sankirtik naam oh where actually you are going haridaspur i am going this is sankirtik naam parihas parihas ek dost actually one friend dusra dost he is speaking to other friend he is actually laughing oh where actually oh actually where is your hari oh where is your hari oh, everything hari will do like this this is parihas in a laughing mood in vrindavan actually it is all the time going where are you going actually mathura i am going where are you going i am going govardhan radhakund you are coming from radhakund it's parihas all the time bhagwan bhagwat naam is going on knowingly or unknowingly bhagwat naam is going on he is speaking hari naam so it's very good na here actually in calcutta everyone is fraudster so ye jo vichar hai so this kind of vichar this becomes sankirtan parihasam ab stovan kya hai and stovan what it is that stuff means ye kisi geet he is actually just uh, in form of a geet in form of in form of a song and in form of a poem in order to just fulfill that he is actually just uh, applying some extra word he is just uh, uh, using one word in that then uh, everything is done in that so he just want to compare that poem he just compare that uh, in order to just complete that poem or just uh, in order to complete one song or some kirtan in order to complete that he has just uh, taken the support of harinam he has just used that everything is done in that that sankirtan parihasam and stavam stavam that is called stavam and helena meva means helena means this word helena shabd word means hela that automatically hela hela there is no with no purpose we are just using hari naam automatically it is done with hela 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 means to purpose, not purpose not purposely using that not uh, not uh, giving so much effort no no short no much gravity okay hare krishna like this only without any gravity without any effort like people like like child actually speaking small child hela 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 oh hare krishna like this in this hela with not so much gravity not for bhajan there is no gravity no intention no intensity is there we have already seen that in gokul mahavan in anand guri there is one village there and at that place i have just stayed for a long time there 
and where to go actually was. at that place actually i just went to for bhiksha to some place to some uh, brahman brajwasi that shuddha brajwasi and there is one child actually who just be 3 years old only 3 to 4 years old yeah very small child he is just actually just rolling down on the ground and mother actually just uh, speaking in angry mood why actually she is crying we don't know she is actually is a small child and she actually and she is crying she is just from mom and when she just uh, saw see me then after that she is speaking baba like cry for radhe radhe baba just just by crying she is speaking radhe radhe <laughs> i was just fuck started laughing she is crying she is very interest distressful but still she is speaking radhe radhe she is not forgetting to speak radhe radhe it is automatically going so this uh, automatically these four kinds of uh, uh, we can just see that all our aparad whatever sinful activities you have done all can be burnt up knowingly or unknowingly that sinful activities are just destroyed this is a very important point very surprising thing this is a very surprising thing there is no attention we haven't given any attention and we haven't given attention to harinam automatically it is done that is the actual uh, surprising thing about the glorification of harinam it is so top most see so much surprising so up till we will today actually we will be giving rest up till this point uh, just uh, forgive me and story steadily we'll be discussing it वैष्णव्यो नम